Hi everyone, this is Spencer with MemberPress, and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to set up your first membership and how to set up a few rules associated with that membership. So I'm going to start by adding a new membership. I already have a premium and trial membership, so I want this to be a membership that's kind of in between. So I'm going to create it and call it Silver. In another video I'm going to go over in greater detail the membership terms and the membership options. And for your reference, you can find that in our user manual of MemberPress under the Getting Started Memberships. I'm just going to have this be a $10 membership. Here you can set any price that's a set price for this membership. You can have the billing type either be recurring or one time. Recurring memberships allow you to set intervals that are either weekly, monthly, yearly, every three or six months, or even a custom interval of any X amount of weeks or months. With recurring, you can also offer trial periods and limit payment cycles. For one-time memberships, you can offer access that are lifetime, meaning they only pay once and they have continued access, or you can have that um, their access expire after a certain amount of days, weeks, months, or years after purchasing the membership, or you can have it expire on a fixed day in the future. In this case, I want this membership to expire a year from when the user buys it, and I want them to be able to renew that membership so that they can um, purchase again and have access to the silver membership content. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that membership and now we're going to see how to protect a few pages associated with this membership. So I've got a page here that's for silver members only and I want to protect this whole page to only be viewable by silver members. I've got another page here where I want to only protect this link from um, so that only silver members can see it, so that all other users won't be able to see that. But I want to offer a chance to kind of promote my silver membership by providing a link here, so that users who stumble upon this page can still um, sign up for it, even though they won't be able to see that link. So let's go over first how to protect a single page in MemberPress. So, you're going to go to the Rules tab of MemberPress. That's found third from the bottom under Groups. And you're going to add new. In another video, I'm going to go over in greater detail all of the features that MemberPress offers when creating a rule. For this video, all I'm going to do is create a single page rule. But keep in mind that MemberPress allows you to protect all content, um, all posts, content categorized or tagged. You can protect a single post or post categorized and tagged. Any custom post types will appear here. I don't currently have any, but those will appear as well, so you can um, protect those. You can protect groups, a single group, a child group. You can also create a partial rule or a custom URI rule to protect um, special links or videos that you may have on your site. They're actually stored in a different place or anywhere else. But again, I'm only going to protect a single page. MemberPress will generate for you the name of the rule and it will also allow you to enter in a few characters and it will guess what page you want to protect. So again, I want to protect the silver members only page and MemberPress will generate for me that title based on the rule type and the page. But keep in mind that you can edit this to be anything that you want. Here you can give access to members who have purchased um, any of these products, meaning that if a user has not purchased what I specify here, they will see my unauthorized message. In this case, I only want it to be silver. But if you hold the control key or the command key on a map, Mac, you can actually select more than one. But in this case, I only want my silver members to be able to have access to this page. MemberPress allows you to have the access to um, do drip or expiration. What drip means is it will allow you to drip this content to users, meaning they'll be able to see it after a certain amount of days based on what you set here. A fixed date, when the member registers, when they purchase a certain product or whatever. Again, I'll be going in greater detail on that later, but for this video I'm just going to explain it briefly. The enable expiration, what this means is that this content will be expired so that no one can see it, even users who have purchased silver, after one of the triggers that I have set here, which are the same as the drip features. And again, this can be any number of days, weeks, months, or years. But I don't want to do that, I just want it to be simple. Um, then you have the unauthorized authorized access. These will override any global settings you have set in MemberPress in the Options tab. So keep that in mind that you can customize 
how what your users see based on each rule that you have set up in MemberPress. For excerpts, that means what the user will be able to see. Default will just be whatever you, again, default is whatever you have set in your settings of MemberPress. Or you can set it to be any of these. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail there, but I will later. The unauthorized message, what this means is you can either hide the unauthorized message altogether that's in your member press settings, or you can create a custom one. So in this case, I want to create a custom one that's specific for this membership. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's encouraging my members to register for this product. Now if I wanted to, I could put anything else here, but for this I'm just going to keep it simple to be that custom message. And a good thing you can do is enable the login form to show up. If you have this disabled in your options, leaving it as default will not have it there. I want my members to be able to see this. You also have the option to hide the login form if that's what you want. But I want to give users a chance to log in in case they haven't logged in yet and they stumble upon this page. So that's the basic setup of a rule. So I'm going to go ahead and save that rule. Now when I go back to that page, it'll be protected. And I won't be able to see it because I'm not logged in. So there's my, oops, you found this, along with a login link there. So I can click that. And this will take me to the login page where I'll be able to log in. And that's how that works for protecting a single page. So there's your first rule. Now I'm going to go over something a little more advanced in protecting this special link here while keeping the rest available to my users. So you'll notice that when you create a rule, it actually allows you to generate for this specific rule partial content codes that are available here. So if I use this short code here, again, putting the content in between, then that means that it will protect that content from unauthorized users. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy all of that right there. I'm just going to paste it right into that page that I have. So I'm going to go to that page. Here's that page with that downloadable link. As you can see, it's not protected by anything. But I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And again, you're going to want to keep this pretty standard on any, um, like that was in bold, so I don't want that to be just in case it causes any errors. And then I'm just going to need to finish it off by editing or um, closing that short code off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now what this means is that this will protect this content from unauthorized users. So when a user stumbles upon this page, if they don't have the silver membership, all they'll see is this, whereas my authorized users will be able to see that like you saw before. And again, I'm wanting to encourage them to sign up, so I'm giving, giving them that offer. So I'm going to go ahead and update that page so that that rule gets applied. And then I'm going to go and refresh my page and see what happens. Okay, so I've saved that, and now I'm going to refresh the page. So as you can see here, that has completely been hidden by me because I'm not a logged in user, but I'm encouraged to go and sign up. So there you have it. A basic setup of how to create your first simple membership and how to create rules associated with it. Thanks.